This is getting started in Scaleform Studio UI Overview Importing Assets. To import assets into the Scaleform Studio Editor, from the Asset Browser, click Import. Navigate to your asset, click Open. Now you can see your asset in the Asset Browser window. From here, you can drag and drop your asset into the viewport. After we drag and drop, we can see the full UI. Let's take a quick tour. Let's begin with the toolbar. Here are your tools for manipulating the viewport and creating content. From here, you can run your project. You can play a specific scene in your project. The selection tool lets you manipulate objects on the stage. The transform tool lets you scale, rotate, and move objects on the stage. The pan and zoom tools let you move the stage and zoom in and out. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and hold the mouse wheel down to activate the pan tool. The text tool lets you create text fields on the stage. The menu bar organizes all options for working in Scaleform Studio. Change your view, grid settings, and adjust your panel layouts. The asset browser lets you import and manage all your assets. The project panel lets you set project properties, add author, and set dimensions. The viewport is where you place all your actors and objects when building your project. The script editor for Lua scripting. The property panel lets you modify properties for the selected object. Below in the color effects section, you can change blend mode, add a style, and change the filter. Enable scale 9 slicing to retain the shape of corners when resizing or scaling image objects. Dynamic property section for custom data and custom behaviors. The component section lets you add defined behaviors to actors such as animation and sound. Widget Creator lets you create common interface elements, labels, button, input field, checkboxes. Down in the Explore, here you can navigate the scene structure, your hierarchy. Over to the Timeline, shows your actors in the selected containers. The log displays warnings and errors during content creation. That's it.